Today, 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 today we're going to be talking about something pretty cool, something I haven't talked much about before, but that is iPhones. So I am pretty much 100% positive that all of you have one of these in your back pocket right now, and one of the apps that you probably use the most is Messages. But what happens when you accidentally delete one? Say you want to get the conversation back, maybe some photos that you had sent to someone and you accidentally deleted it, what do you do now? Well, you're in luck, because today we're going to be covering just that, and we're starting right now. So if you're like most iPhone users, the Messages app is probably of utmost importance to you, and this is compounded especially if you use this for professional reasons. And so it would cause a pretty understandable punch to the gut if uh, you all of a sudden lost a conversation that was either really important or contained some important information or documents, attachments, photos, etc. But don't despair just yet, because we've got these five quick things we're going to be running through right now, and the first one is use your iCloud backup. So this one is probably the most obvious, but if you regularly use iCloud and sync your phone with iCloud, you can just tap into that backup and pull basically anything that you want from any point in time. It's a lot like Time Machine for Mac if you're familiar. Now I should warn you real quick that you should use caution when you use this method as it does require you to restore your phone to a factory setting. And if that's a bit too much commitment for you, and understandably so, it's a bit of a scary concept, then I would recommend you try the other four methods in this tutorial before using this one and just kind of use it as a last resort. But if you're comfortable, then you can follow these steps to restore from an iCloud backup. Go ahead and open your settings app, then go to general and select the reset option. Next, tap Erase All Content and Settings, and confirm your choice by clicking Erase Now. This is a pretty sketchy thing to do, I know, but as long as you have your iCloud backup, you have nothing to fear, so let's move on. Next up, go ahead and follow your phone's instructions until you see the Apps and Data page. And from there, choose Restore from iCloud Backup. Then from here, you'll sign into your iCloud account and choose the most recent backup that you know contains the conversation that you had before it was deleted. So for example, if you had the conversation last week and you deleted the message today, then you'll want to go back to that backup that was made last week or any time before last week when that conversation took place. And finally, wait for the recovery process to finish and you should have your conversation back. Now keep in mind, as of June 2020, I'm using iOS 13.5.1, which is the latest version. However, this should be duplicable for pretty much any iOS version out there, as this procedure really hasn't changed much in the last several years. Now the second method is we can actually retrieve messages from an iCloud backup individually. Now this is kind of dependent on a couple things here. The first is the territory in which you live, and the second is entirely predicated upon whether or not you've turned on messages inside of the iCloud backup setting itself. So yeah, there's a couple conditions with this one, but if you happen to luck out, then it works really well. And you can actually check to see whether you are able to do this method by just going to your settings, then clicking on your profile, iCloud, and seeing if messages is turned on. Now, if not, you can skip this method. It doesn't really matter. It's just another one to check off the list. But if you are one of the lucky souls to have this enabled inside your settings, then go ahead and follow these steps. Just go ahead and open the settings app, tap your name and select iCloud, and go ahead and uncheck messages and click disable and download messages. Then once it's finished, go ahead and check messages again. Now something important to note about this method is that there's a couple reasons why you need to turn off text messages in the third step that I just mentioned. So firstly, turning them off actually forces your iPhone to download the most recent versions of those messages straight from iCloud right to your phone. Second, you want to prevent your iPhone from telling iCloud to get rid of the deleted messages that you're trying to recover. Once that happens, you won't be able to use this method anymore, so use caution with that as well. Now, method number three is using iTunes to recover your messages. This is very similar to the iCloud backup, except this time we're going to be using an iTunes backup. So hopefully, if you're an iPhone user, you've been connecting your iPhone to your computer to sync it with iTunes for your music and all your movies and stuff like that at least once in a while. And if you've done this, there's a good chance that there's an iTunes backup waiting for you on your computer that you could use to restore your messages. Now the process that I'm going to be using and showing you how to do today is only applicable to Mac OS, Catalina, or later. If you happen to have Mac OS Mojave, for example, it's a lot of the same process, it's just not exactly the same. I don't have time to go over every single option today. It's very similar, but there's a lot of tutorials in our guide, which I will link to down below in the description if you're interested. So to restore from your iTunes backup, connect your iPhone to your Mac. Next, launch Finder and select your iPhone under Locations. Then click the Restore Backup button in the General tab. 
Then pick the most recent and relevant backup that you want to restore. Then enter your password if you're asked and click restore. So again, this is very similar to iCloud. You're just taking a backup that was loaded onto your computer at some point, putting it back onto your phone, and that will come with all of the messages that you may have deleted from past weeks, days, years, whatever. Method number four is going to be using recovery software. So if you've made it to this point in the video, then there's probably a good chance that you haven't gotten your messages back, which I know it sucks, but don't fret. We still have a couple more methods to go over, and this one is particularly powerful and by far my favorite. The avenue that we're gonna be taking is using a software called Disk Drill, which is going to go into the phone and pull the messages out for us all completely intact and ready to go. Now, before we get started in this method, there is something that I wanna just take a real quick 30 seconds to explain that'll make this process a lot quicker, easier, and simpler to understand. So each minute that goes by that you use your phone, constantly there's files that are being written and pulled from the memory that's inside of the phone. And as you continue to use your phone, the chances of recovery unfortunately go down and down and down. Why is that? Well, the basic premise of file recovery is we're trying to not overwrite the files. Because what happens when you delete something is that space or that file is just marked as open and available, ready to be overwritten at a later date by some other file like a photo or even another message. And so at this point, if you're still using your phone and downloading games and apps and things like that to your phone, I would recommend that you stop that or at least try and keep it to a minimum before you run this software because what's going to happen is as you use your phone it's going to continue to overwrite files and those files that are overwritten might end up being your messages and so you don't want to have that happen and so minimizing the amount that you use your phone before you scan it with software is paramount and so with that being said let's go ahead and recover our messages so first of all go ahead and go down to the link in the description where you can download and install disk drill from the official clever files website then once it's connected go ahead and launch disk drill and at this point, you'll have a couple tutorials which you can run through if you want. It'll just kind of teach you all about the interface and how it works. But once you get through that, you can go ahead and initialize the free scan just like this by clicking the recovery button next to your iPhone. Now from here, we'll just wait for the scan to finish and I will come back to you once it's done. All right, so once it is finished, you can go ahead and preview all of the deleted and existing text messages just like this. You can see which ones are intact and even some of the attachments and things that have been sent through messages inside of your iPhone, which is super cool. Once you find the text messages that you want, simply select them just like this, and then click the recover button and get your text back. And finally, number five, the last way that you can get your text messages back is by contacting your carrier. So if all else fails, contacting your carrier can be an extremely beneficial method to getting text messages back, especially in the event of a legal suit or some kind of professional engagement where you need those messages back or else. And while it's definitely not the most reliable way, it's certainly worth a shot, especially if your carrier supports that kind of thing or they're more apt to give you your text messages back in the event of a loss, for example. And since all of you guys, I'm sure, have different carriers, I can't possibly begin to explain how to do it for every single person, but I'm just gonna be going over the basic premise of how to do it from inside your iPhone. So here's how. Go ahead and open your settings app on your iPhone, then go to general and tap about at the top of the list and here is where you'll see your carrier. Now from here, you can visit your carrier's website and get things like contact information to actually get in touch with them and tell them your situation, and perhaps, just maybe, they'll be able to work with you and get your text messages back. And honestly, I wish you guys all the best of luck with that because losing text messages or really anything from your phone or any device is an extremely scary and just kind of mini heart attack situation. But anyway, I hope that this video genuinely helped you guys. I really hope it did. And if it did, always be sure to leave us a like down below. Also be sure to let us know down below in the comment section if you have any questions or comments about things that you wanna know. Or if you want me to cover something in a future video, be sure to let us know down below in the comments as well. But with that being said, my name is Andy, and thank you for watching.